On the front, you have two 20 pound propane tanks. Both are full and ready to go for you. Uh, this is your auto changeover regulator. So right now this arrow here is pointing towards this tank. Uh, right now red would technically mean empty. Turn it on, green lets you know that you're good to go. If this valve here is on, it'll automatically switch over to that tank from this one once this one is empty. Two deep cycle batteries in the box, so set and ready to go for you. Battery disconnect switch is right here. Uh, so pointing towards the frame is in the off position and up is in the on position. Dock light on the front, the switch is just on the side here. Four stabilizer jacks, one in each corner of the trailer, three quarter inch crank comes with the trailer. Fresh water fill here, fresh water drain down underneath. The black uh, tube that's down there, that is for your uh, sewer, so once you're done emptying, you can put your sewer hose back into there. At the back here, so black water, gray water, so black water has black handle, gray has gray handle. This is where you're going to plug your trailer into hydro, so 30 amp cord, so you just line up the L, push the cord on, 25 feet of cord comes with the trailer. Outside shower on the back, city water connection is here. Uh, this is your tank flush, so this is just an uh, aid to help you keep your black water uh, clean. Uh, so this here, uh, always remember to have your black water valve pulled while you're hooked up to the black tank flush. Antifreeze inlet to help you winterize. Uh, cable and satellite hookups. This track here is for the uh, outside table and the uh, griddle. The griddle is going to connect to the gas line down here at the bottom. Uh, so you just pop the cap off push it back, connect it like a regular airline, and then rotate it on for the flow of gas. When you're not using it, always make sure to have the cap in there so it keeps clean. Two 110 plugs down here at the bottom for you. You do have an LED light strip underneath the awning. Uh, awning is a power, so then button for that's inside. Uh, outside speaker is the black ground guy there, and the porch light is the uh, yellow light. You do have a plug up the front corner here. If you want to add additional solar on the side, you do have the panels up on the roof already. Door, so door opens from the left hand side. So over here. Uh, so what I always do is just push a little bit on the door to help you open it. Uh, they are a firm grip. When opening the door, open it all the way. Using the blue handle, you pull it back. Step pulls down. Uh, now to adjust your step, legs up and down it's just simply with this control here so you put it in it'll go in when you put your step down always make sure that your uh, your step is all the way down and both feet are firmly on the ground as soon as you come in the trailer this is your uh, uh, main control panel so into your lights turn them on uh, porch light awning light step light uh, your water pump switch is up here hot water heater on gas, hot water heater electric, and then you have tank heaters as well. Uh, slide out control, so in and out, and the awning retract and extend. Your level gauges, so you just press whichever button you wish and it'll tell you up here at the top. Main GFI plug here, uh, so you can reset your GFI if you're, uh, you don't have any power working. On the bed here, uh, so in the black bag here, so this is your power cord, so again that's 25 feet of cord. Outside side table there and the griddle and all the pieces that you need to run it are in the box. Three quarter inch crank. Uh, this is a barbecue lifter with beer opener. If you want to take the wheel off the front jack and put it to a foot. Water filter, water filter wrench. Uh, the towel bar holder here and toilet paper holder are there for you. Uh, the keys, so you have two sets of keys here. Um, so there, every key in the trailer is key to like. Uh, big remote is for the TV, little remote is for the radio. You do have a TST tire monitoring system there. And then the brown envelope is the owner's bag, so all the literature is in there for you. The uh, inverter switch is down here on the side, uh, beside the bed. Uh, so if you want to create 110 power using your 12 volts when you're not plugged in. Couch. So couch is a jackknife. Uh, so the, the just lift up on the bottom flips out just like so the table so the table is free floating now the storage for the table is behind the couch just like so on the back wall here, uh, so always make sure nothing is plugged into this when you're bringing your slide out in. Uh, 
furnace control is here. So all the way to the left is off, turning over to the right, turns it on, lights by itself. Bathroom, everything's pretty straightforward and simple. You do have the AquaCam water saver. So right now this valve is pointing towards here, which means it's in regular use. If you turn it up here like this, you can turn your hot water on. This elbow here in the corner that's blue will go to gray to let you know it's warm. Then you can turn that back down to the down position. Toilet is a foot flush. Uh, so you just push down so far you get water, push down all the way at evacs. Fantastic fan in the roof. Uh, so this guy here, just simply pull down on the, uh, the lever, open up your vent, and then select your fan speed. Microwave, standard household style. Fridge is a 12 volt, uh, so your controls for this is up here in the top right hand corner. Solar panel controller is there, so it lets you know what your batteries are doing and everything like that. Uh, radio, uh, Bluetooth connectable and everything like that as well. Wi-Fi Ranger switch is here, your password for that is right there. Three burner stove top, use a barbecue lighter to light whichever one you wish to light. Air conditioner is up on the roof. All the controls are here for you. Uh, so just select whichever style you want or whatever mode you want. <coughs> TV is 12 volt. <coughs> if you have any questions, you can email us at terrystrailer.ca or info at terrystrailerservice.ca or you can give us a call at 519 371 0370.